Hi, I'm Lauren Matthews. Today I will be comparing a Leaps and Rebounds 48 inch rebounder to my Jump Sport 570 Pro 44 inch rebounder. Both of these rebounders are great quality and either one will give you great results. Today I'll be highlighting their differences so that you can decide which one is better for you. I've linked both of them below and you can use my code BFB10 for 10% off on either website. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can work out with me for free when your new rebounder arrives. The largest difference with these rebounders first off the bat is that when you get the leaps and rebounds, you assemble the bungees yourself. If you get the jump sport, the bungees are already assembled for you and you just have to put the legs together. Upon hearing that I was getting the leaps and rebounds rebounder, I was really excited, but I was a little nervous when I heard I had to put the bungees together myself, but I did and it was actually really easy. Check it out. So let's jump in. The Leaps and Rebounds Rebounder is 48 inches and the Jump Sport 570 Pro is 44 inches. That's from rim to rim. So you'll notice that the biggest visual difference between these rebounders is that the Leaps and Rebounds has a straight leg and the Jump Sport has an arched leg. Leaps and Rebounds have that straight leg and you can just unscrew it and it's very easy. And then the Jump Sport has the arched leg and you use, it comes with a wrench that you use to put the legs on and take them off. So it takes a little bit more effort, but it's not bad. In my opinion, one of the reasons that the Jump Sport 570 Pro is more price wise is because because it comes pre-assembled. By getting the Leaps and Rebounds rebounder, you're paying less, but it's because you're assembling it yourself. So the price as of today, May 10th, 2021, of the Leaps and Rebounds 48 inch rebounder in pink is $200. As of, again, as of today, May 10th, 2021, the Jump Sport 570 Pro 44 inch is $649. There's seven color options with the Leaps and Rebounds rebounder. I chose pink because that's my favorite color. And the Jump Sport just comes in black. It's very sleek. Now, as I said, there is a big price difference between these two. And another reason for that is that the Jump Sport 570 Pro is made for in-home use, but also commercial use. The Leaps and Rebounds rebounder is made mainly for in-home use. The weight rating on the Leaps and Rebounds rebounder is up to 250 pounds. And the weight rating on the Jump Sport 570 Pro is up to 325 pounds. With the Leaps and Rebounds rebounder, you have 40 bungees, with just one setting. You can't change the settings on the bungees at all. With the Jump Sport 570 Pro, you have 36 bungees and seven settings. The Leaps and Rebounds rebounder weighs 17 pounds when you're picking it up and carrying it, and the Jump Sport 570 Pro weighs 25 pounds. The Leaps and Rebounds is 13 inches high, which is a little bit higher than the Jump Sport, coming in at 12 and a half inches high. The company Leaps and Rebounds feel that they set themselves apart in the rebounding industry by offering a lifetime warranty on their rebounder. And as far as the Jump Sport warranty, they have a lifetime warranty on the frame and the legs, but on the mat and the cords, it's a five-year warranty, and on all other components, it's a one-year warranty. The Leaps and Rebounds mat is a UV resistant mat. And as far as the Jump Sport, I couldn't find um, whether or not it was UV resistant. The Jump Surface, the Leaps and Rebounds on their website says that their Jump Surface is 40 inches. Jump Sport says that their Jump Surface is 40 and a half inches. Now when I measured my own opinion of what the bounce, actual bounce surface is, because I don't like, you know, when I'm bouncing, I'm not trying to bounce up here. I don't, I'm not counting that. I'm counting the mat. And so when I measured each mat and what I consider to be the bounce surface, I had that 
the jump sport was 31 and a half inches and that the leaps and rebounds rebounder was 37 and a half inches. And when I lay down and do core work on each of these trampolines, I have a lot more room on the leaps and rebounds rebounder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the difference in the rebound on each one of these rebounders. So let's start with the Jump Sport 570 Pro. The mat is definitely feels sturdy and thick. So let's try the leaps and rebounds. Definitely a good rebound on this one. I would say that the mat feels a little bit thinner, a little bit of a difference, but there's no pain in the feet on either one. If I had to say which one was a little bit softer on the bounce, I would say the Jump Sport 570 Pro, but the leaps and rebounds is right up there with it. I hope that this video answered some of the questions that you might have about the leaps and rebounds rebounder versus a Jump Sport rebounder and that you were able to make a decision about what one is right for you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.